Beautiful intro. We're back at it again with the big unboxing. What's up guys, it's Alec Mag 111 and we are back with another Thick Boy unboxing. So I traded for two of these things. I bought one of these off eBay and I bought someone's entire collection. It's been a while since I've done a huge, massive, whatever Thick Boy unboxing you want to call it. And so we're going to start out with pistol, go rifle, rifle pistol, and then the collection will be at the end. And then, like always, if you guys guess, uh, stickers if you get the number correct for that box. I will give you a hint. It is under a thousand. That's only hit ends in five or a zero. Also, it has been raining non-stop, which is kind of crazy. So if the lighting's a little bit weird, I think it actually kind of looks pretty nice with everything in the background, but if it changes, that's why. So first up, we have a Crownland pistol. I have never heard of this before. It's OEM by Classic Army. Um, dual power, KL, high kappa, whatever. It is a high kappa frame. I traded, um, I did like a partial trade for this for the KWA TK45 Ronin that I had, so I got some cash, and then this pistol as well, and it looks pretty cool. Um, the lower is polymer, like most high kappas kind of are. Upper, I believe, is metal. Actually, I think this might be polymer as well. Um, really cool burnt bronze barrel. I actually really like that. And then it's got some nice fiber optic sights. I actually really like that green front fiber optic. And then it looks like it's kind of yellow greenish back. It's a little bit different. Um, and then it has just a normal high cap of mag. I actually like the flared with magwell on this. I think it's pretty cool and some sort of nice pattern on the grip, but it's a cool little gun. All right, up next for number two, I bought this off of a dude on eBay. I bought this as a collection uh, or kind of like a collection. I think somebody was getting out of the sport and so they were selling it. This gun is actually really, really nice. So I have not seen it yet. I do not know exactly which one it is. Oh, okay, so we got a suppressor of some sort. A nice little, looks like it's a suppressor with flash hider. And then we got some mags over here. So two Lonex flash mags, three, four. Wow, four. So two of them are in like a lighter gray and two of them are in black. I didn't actually know that Lonex made different color flash mags. Sure Shot Midget loves these. We also got three LiPo batteries. These are the Falcon 7.4s, 250s. And then we got two mid-cap hex mags, uh, some sort of P mag. This actually looks like one of the KDBA EPM mags. Yeah, it is. So I remember for those of you that watched like two collections ago, I got like 10 of those. And then gun up next. And finally, a mag brand mid cap, but here is the gun. Did a good job packaging this, which is nice. And here she is. This is an Elite Force 4 CRS body. Looks like it's got a Pro Win hop up in it as well. I bid on this one. This was like a bid listing on eBay, I think. Magpul MOE stock. It does have the FCU back there. Wire harness looks like it's in good shape. This is a jack engine, I believe. Yeah, it's a jack. And then it's got some sort of nice uh, key mod rail system. I'm actually not sure what suppressor this is, but I really like that fake peck up front. And then a shattered sight mark. He said that it did get shattered when he was playing airsoft. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. And then the PTS like repro grip here as well. Nice little gun. The four CRSs are actually, I remember when Jet was using the four CRSs for a while. He like, when Elite Force kind of came out, this was like their first really workhorse gun, I think that they came out with like M4 full metal and stuff and Jet used it for like a year. I think they were on some sort of contract, but it was a nice gun. He always liked it and it looks like a pretty solid setup. I don't know if I've, I think I've owned one of these before, but never in a Polar Star configuration. So good first box. USPS had to go and put the label over his message. Um, he says, I have been something, something, but pretty cool. I love it when subscribers of mine send me stuff. So this dude asked me to buy his packages. There's like two guns in there. So there's a rifle and then a pistol. And then he wrote some stuff, big fan, retail ground uh, in a cry tack box. It is not a cry tack. It's 416, 1911 and the box mag on there. But he did a little cool thing over here that says Alec as well. So I appreciate that. Alrighty, so the gun is an HK416 CQB in here. I don't think there are any internal upgrades. I believe everything in here is stock. He can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, it's got a Crytac flash hider up here. One of the metal ones, nice. This one's got a little interesting barrel combo. I don't know if this, I think this is one of the older HK416. So it's like the A4s maybe. Um, got the awesome grip on here. These Magpul PTS grips are so nice. Um, I do not like the finger groove on all the stock 416s, 417s. So I do file that off if I keep them for the two that I've run. And then just a basic black stock on here as well. I'm not sure exactly what brand this is, but basic stock. Nice gun. I love 416s. You guys love 416s. They're awesome guns. They're OEM by VFC and licensed by Umarex. All right, up next is the Elite Force 1911. I have had lots of these. I really like these pistols, and he included three magazines with it as well. Um, these things just shoot really, really well, and they're really consistent, and they're just a cool platform. I love 1911 platforms, man. 
Um, definitely want to own a real one eventually. I went with the Glock first, but eventually, hopefully, we'll get one. Nice, I can show brand wise. But these are awesome starter pistols. I'd either recommend, I'd probably, if you want to go like a high cap of build, definitely go high cap or like a high end pistol. But for starter pistols, if you want a cheaper option, these are so good. They're CO2, so they kick pretty well. Um, they shoot and they work in all weather, unlike some of the green gas stuff in the Midwest. I'm talking to you. Um, those of you who understand my pain with anything gas in the Midwest. Nice white dots. This is like the black tack version. I've had a gray, I've had a tan. I think I've had all the versions of the TAC one except for this black one. And then my brother actually, this is like a, it's funny because this is a KWC OEM. So my brother had a really old KWC OEM 1911 and all the magazines and stuff still works, which is pretty cool. So Elite Force 1911. And last in the box is a box mag. I'm not exactly sure what brand he said this one works with, um, but it's pretty cool. And that boy is thick. Oh, it's NK. So this is an NK box mag. Probably can run I'd be interesting to run it on my saw and see if you could throw it in that side port because I actually end up selling the bottom mag for that. But cool little box mag. Oh, there she is. Hello, beautiful. All right, I'm going to kind of angle this so it's not my way. All right, so I got this from a dude named Kevin. He was uh, interested in my Polar Star, so I traded him one of my Polar Stars actually for this collection and then also um, gave him some stuff on top. I gave him basically an entire Polar Star Fusion engine build, and so I got this collection from him as well. So I'm just valuing it at what I sold that Polar Star for. Oh my gosh. Uh, he wrote me a little note. He says, thank you, including this bag, all the documents, manuals, yada, yada, yada. Um, I love the channel. Keep up the great work. Oh, thanks, Kevin. I appreciate it. Love it when you guys kind of customize things. I think this is dope. Alrighty, gun number one is a Sima. I think some from people pronounce it Sima. I've pronounced it Sima since I was like 12 and got my first Sima M14, so that's kind of how I'm going to do it. And this is the... Oh, I actually think I've had one of these before. Yeah, I've had one of these before. So this is the AR-47. So it's like an AK and an M4 kind of configuration. It's a polymer build. These are actually really cool. I love these. Um, they do feel a little bit cheap on the external side, but they're actually really good internal. And then they have some solid... I mean, like, look at this gun. That's a really cool little suppressor there. Got your iron sights. And then you got a mag, basic mag. Normal AK stuff. And then you got your M4 grip. The people that are AK purists hate these guns. The people that love M4 Force also hit these guns. I like both, so I think it's a cool little gun. All right, up next we have a Cry Battle Bow. This is a large, this is the Cry Precision Z Shot Repro. These are actually pretty nice. I had a green one for a little bit, a Ranger Green one that I used for a TAD, and I'm actually building a real belt setup. I have not figured out exactly what I want, however, I am looking at a lot of different options because I want to build a war belt. Dang, this is taking it back to the old days. I believe this is a spring FAMAS of some sort. Yeah, this boy's spring. Oh, yeah. Let's go. This is like the OG 13, 14, 15-year-old backyard games. I had a spring Kalashnikov AK-47. Some of the dudes had these. They are not very high quality, for those of you that know, but they are really fun to play with. Alrighty, man. We really are taking a trip down memory lane. This is an AK-74 style. This thing is... <gasps> I think this is a Springer as well. This thing is might be the crustiest airsoft ak-47 that i've ever seen in my life i'm guessing that gun was probably in his shed from 1965 and he just decided to bring it out all right up next we have his bdu so it looks like he was running multi-can these are the 511 these are actually pretty nice quality wise 511 is an awesome brand um and they produce pretty high quality stuff and i think there's some knee pad inserts for these as well dad mode from right here to just peek Alrighty, next gun is an HK M27. These are actually super dope. So we got a 416 bro and we got the M27 bro as well. This thing actually looks like it's in really good condition. It looks like it's been used but not abused. Solid gun, bolt catch still works. And uh, like I said, those little thumb grooves, man, they just kind of irk me a little bit. I don't know why uh, they just decided to go with that, but I'll leave that to the people that are professionals. Um, this is VFC OEM once again. The M27 is basically just a little bit longer version of the 416. You can see comparison, and then the rail's a little bit longer. This one's actually a longer version of the 416 because it's CQB, but I think the barrel, I know the barrel was changed in this, so I'm not exactly sure. But the M27, I believe, is designed as like an LMG or support weapon, I think is what it's supposed to be. And then the longer version of that is like a DMR. Up next, we got an AK of some sort. This one looks a lot less springy and a lot less crusty than the other one. Everybody has those spring guns, man. That is 100% real. 
but this one looks really nice. All right, now that I got the wrapping off of this, it does look like the charging handle kind of broke off in shipping, which sucks a little bit, just that charging handle latch. I'm not exactly sure what brand this is, but if I had to guess, it would probably be a Sima, and this thing actually looks like it's in really good shape. This one basically seems brand new. It looks, it's even got the sticker there. It says STG or HG. It's got the scope mount as well, which is pretty cool. And this is a nice setup. Actually has a folding stock as well. Huh, pretty cool. Up next, we have a, an Elite Force SL4 speed loader. This is like the craftier version of the Odins. I think these came out a little bit before. And they're pretty cool, but it's a little bit awkward to kind of have to carry something around this big to load your magazines. Up next, we have, I believe, a Condor chest rig of some sort. Condor is actually making some really nice strides and making some higher quality gear. Um, this is just a tan of some sort. I'm actually not seeing a branding at all, but it's a nice little tan chest rig. Everybody needs a chest rig in their life. Chest rig number two is a Condor. This one actually says Condor, so maybe this one's like an NC Star or a Vism or something like that. Oh, this is 511. So we got a 511 chest rig. I was wondering, this felt really good. I, Condor stuff feels solid, but you can tell like a 511 chest rig feels way better than a Condor chest rig. But this is probably twice, if not three times as much as a Condor chest rig. Both good setups so though, really nice. Up next, we have some magazines. It looks like these are all AK boys of some sort. So these are six AK mids. I'm um, not exactly sure what the correct, like, oh, uh, this one's a high cap. Yeah, so the same style mag. This one's a high cap. The rest are mids. I think these are like, I'm assuming they're just like a mag brand mid cap. I don't, like I said, I don't know a ton about AKs, but this is the stock mag for that other AK that we already Looks like he has a bag of parts. I'm seeing some M4 rail system in here, a lower uh, motor of some sort, a gearbox. This will probably be given straight to Sure Shot Midget so that he can mess with whatever parts he wants. Up next, we have a bag of some sort, and it is a pistol of some sort. Ooh, this is kind of cool. So it looks like this is a KWA, maybe? Yeah, KWA HK USP 45. I actually like the little case this is in kind of like an allen case i believe the mags are on the other side of here but this is an hk usp uh, oem is kwa and he's got two mags in here in the little side thing and then a mag in there looks like even numbers magazines these are actually really cool pistols i was had an opportunity to actually buy a real one of these i saw listed uh it's probably like three months ago and i'm not a huge fan of the real one i think it's a really cool pistol i think it's big for what this is but it is awesome, and it's this is the full frame one. They have a compact one. I think Jared's owned like at least two or three compact ones. I've owned at least two or three compact ones. So I think this one is the mid size or full frame one. I think there's one, the bigger one, the the HK twenty or forty five, the the one with the suppressor, the Mark twenty three. I think these might actually be the same size. It just has a suppressor on there. But I really like this pistol. Nice setup. All right, up next we have some gear. So this is just a Condor triple single, and then it looks like he's got some. Bullets, shell ejecting. I think Krusty Gun might have actually been a shell ejecting spring AK. So that's kind of interesting. It is you falling apart. <laughs> yep, this is a shell ejecting AK. I'm gonna give it back to James to take away. Bring him on in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Alrighty, rounding out the end of the unboxing, we got some double knee pads from Condor, uh, some sort of sling bag. Oh, this is a hydration carrier. And then up next, we have a AOR2. This is an AOR2 combat shirt of some sort. This is a Rothko. It's actually really nice. AOR2 large Rothko combat shirt, which is pretty dope. Um, and then I think this is a Condor dump pouch of some sort and a double magazine pouch. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Alec Mac 111 I appreciate it if you followed all the way to the end. You guys are great. I appreciate you. Bye.